when I look back, like growing up, I was really influenced by a lot of non-stand-ups. Um, people like uh, Chris Farley and Dana Carvey. I just remember I would go into Sunday school and uh, recite everything I saw from the night before. But then as I grew up, I became obsessed with Comedy Central. And I, but I wasn't even smart enough to pay attention to who I was watching. Uh, and so I just remember watching so many like half hours, premium blends and all that stuff. And I, I loved it. I would try to recite, you know, comics. And growing up where I grew up in the Midwest, obviously even somebody like Jeff Foxworthy was huge. Um, but Kim Kinison was as well and Dice. Um, it was just, uh, it was just something I always loved. I always feel like I'm forgetting somebody, but I think being a kid who wanted attention and seeing that if you're a stand-up comic, you definitely get it. <laughs> I uh, I was drawn to that, and and luckily I came out somewhat funny. Yeah. I was a rush, man. It was, it was I couldn't remember like half of it. It's that classic thing where your first set goes really good and then you're trying to like chase that dragon over and over after that. Um, but it just felt so good to think and I think this is what we get addicted to when you're a comic is like I have this idea or I have this opinion or I have this feeling about something and when I express that that resonates with someone and then they're made to laugh. You know that's the whole thing like we this is gonna sound so cliche but uh, somebody's like, oh, you made me laugh. Like, I didn't ask you, I didn't beg you, I didn't see if you would, I made you laugh. And that, there's no better feeling in the world than that. It, for me, yeah, that's the, that's the greatest drug. I love Sandler's albums, They're All Gonna Laugh at You, and What the Hell Happened to Me. Um, I can never get enough of uh, Let's Get Small, like Steve Martin's stuff. Um, and you know, it's really funny, it's not an album, but you can listen to Steve Martin's book, Born Standing Up, and he does his old, his old bits. Hearing that even just feels like, it's like you're getting a class in comedy while also getting to hear how somebody does it. Um, so that stuff was, yeah, that was really big for me. Yeah. Tommy Boy and I think Step Brothers is perfect. Uh, and did you say like sketch shows and stuff like that? I mean, Mr. Show, the audition sketch in Mr. Show is unreal. Um, there was an SNL sketch uh, had Shia LaBeouf in it. And it was called like Letter to My Sister, and it's so weird. Like as you've seen in my set, like I kind of end the show in a very weird place. It's such a weird sketch that it's just one of those things where I was like, oh, I wish I'd made that. Or like Too Many Cooks, which was made in Atlanta, which is another phenomenal sketch. Uh, so those are, you know, The off Office obviously is another one that I really love. Um, yeah, those are some movies and, and sketches. The UCB show, Kids in the Hall. It, don't even like score the friendly shark that's just stuff that I could watch like forever I think my favorite though televised comedy thing I don't know if it, it's up there like it's definitely top three is um, the midnight special when Andy Kaufman does she just does the song I trusted you and he goes out and he just keeps saying that's all he says I trusted you and he makes the audience think it ended like five six seven times that is perfect comedy to me that is perfect comedy so and i love it and obviously uh hearing me say that if you've seen my uh my show uh on tour right now you can see where some of that has definitely influenced me so the office yeah uh i think that, that the the first like season three four and five is some of the best television writing ever uh i also really like i wouldn't i don't know if you call it a sitcom but i really like barry I think Barry's like a super, super funny show. Arrested Development is another great one as well. Um, the classic ones for me are like Night Court. Night Court is, is great. I could watch Night Court and Frasier. I think Frasier, I don't, maybe it gets enough credit. I'm not really sure, but to me that is like one of the greatest sitcoms of all time. The writing is perfect.
Pete Holmes, uh, he once was at an open mic and he told this joke that this guy said and I just think it's perfect. Uh, the joke was, have you ever seen a kid so fat he looks like he has a full-time job? And I love that joke. I love that joke. Um, so that's a great one. Yeah. I love being on tour with Andrew, but if I could go on tour with any comedian... See, that's, there's some great comics that probably wouldn't be great road buddies. Because <laughs> all of us are kind of like a little bit weird. Um, it'd be amazing to go on tour with like Gaff again. I feel like we have a similar sense of, of humor kind of come from the same place. I'm not as great as he is by any means. Um, but that would be somebody great to go on tour with. Uh, there's a great comic named uh, Jenny Zagrino, and Jenny is crushing. I would love to go on tour with her. Uh, yeah, there's a there's a lot of people. Rory Scovel and I have never been on tour together, but we have a podcast together, and we're going to be going on tour together within the year. So I'm really looking forward to that. That'll be fun. Everybody says Carlin, so let's say Carlin. And then after that, John Candy, I think, would be would probably hit you in ways that you weren't ready for. Harold Ramis would be another one as well. And then if I had to pick two more to get roasted by, the Sklar brothers, uh, they're probably my oldest friends uh, in comedy and some of my closest friends that I have. So it would be great to have them do it. And then, Man, is the roast good? If it's gonna be good, she's not a comic, but it'd be great to be roasted by my mom. That would be hilarious. I started out uh, with a little like weekly show at Second City in Chicago, and then I went through UCB, and I was able to be a sketch performer there after going through their entire improv program. So. Um, I, I've, I've gotten a chance to do that. Obviously, I get to podcast as well. So for me, it's, it's getting to keep doing those things. And then um, I'd love to eventually learn how to play a musical instrument and do something fun and entertaining and funny with that. And then acting, yeah, just as much acting as I can to be able to like take on a character that uh, I find really interesting and also make them really funny would be great. I hope it keeps going this great. It's the last five have been phenomenal. And um, if it multiplies at the same rate that it is right now, I'd love to just keep doing what I'm doing, finding new hours and new material uh, and doing it for more and more people. I think that's the whole, like I said at the very beginning, just the opportunity to uh, believe that you got something to say and then find out that people find that funny and agree with you. If I can just keep doing that, I'm happy. Uh, for everything, you just go to Daniel Van Kirk. Um, it's at Daniel Van Kirk on Twitter, Instagram. There's a Facebook page uh, if you're still hanging out there. And you can go to DanielVanKirk.com. Everything, all my shows, uh, videos, things I'm up to, social media, all of that stuff is at DanielVanKirk.com. And then I'm on tour right now. Uh, probably will be through May. So I'll be hitting up the Midwest and the East Coast and the Northeast. So if you're in any of those places, um, you can check me out. Uh, just follow DanielVanKirk.com and yeah. That that was fun and that they felt like they kind of watched a show rather than alone or with the people that they went to. They all kind of ex really felt like being like, oh yeah, we just did, we just saw all that together. So right now that's kind of what the the Together Tour is focused on, and I hope people leave being like, that was really fun. So, yeah. Hey everybody, I am Daniel Van Kirk. I'm a comic that got the privilege of being interviewed by AcutiePie.com. So check out AcutiePie wherever you can, whenever you can, and it's worth it.